Hey guys, I'm Sam with Rep Fitness. I'm one of the design engineers here. And today we're gonna to talk about the Rep Integrated Belt Squat Attachment. We're gonna go through troubleshooting and how you install it in your racks. So you can get to using it as soon as possible. So what we're doing today is we're taking this here belt squat and we're gonna go ahead and put it inside of the rack. Now, while I'm going through it, I'm gonna give you guys some install tips and just some things to think about uh, if you're installing it for the first time in your rack. Just like anything, the first time you're putting it in the rack, you're gonna need to figure out your groove. You're gonna figure out your little tricks to doing it. But after you figure that out, we expect it to be about a one minute installation. Now, the belt squat attachment isn't very heavy. It weighs roughly 45 pounds uh, under a plate, actually. We're really confident that any PR4000 and 5000 user is gonna have no problem installing this in their rack. So when installing the belt squat attachment, we suggest that at the beginning, you stick it right in the middle of the rack. Now this position is gonna allow you to do all the different motions that you could possibly do with it and give you a lot of versatility, but it gives you a starting point as well. So you'll notice that our racks have numbers in them. What we, ask, what we suggest that you do is that you write down the number that you start with at the beginning, and then that way, if you wanna make incremental changes, you're able to keep track of your ideal position because it will vary for different people. The other thing to consider is that the pulley is meant to be used straight up and down. So if you're doing pull-ups, you're going to want to place this where you're directly underneath your pull-up bar so your belt can go straight. Same thing for any other motions that you're trying. The nice part about the belt squat attachment is you're going to be able to move it forward or backwards very easily. So whatever motion you want to do, it won't be a problem. So now that we have the belt squat in the rack, what we're going to do is use those sweet numbers that Rep has given us to go ahead and align it right and throw pins through it. So now, if this is your first time installing the belt squat, you might notice that all your holes don't line up perfectly. The reason for this is because this attachment actually ties the rack together. You'll notice with a lot of other attachments, they're just on one upright. Well, because this ties it together, we need to ensure that the rack is totally straight. So the benefit of this is if your rack is a little crooked, it won't be anymore when you install it. So what we suggest doing is loosening up the bolts on your rack, putting the belt squat in, putting the pins through, then tightening up everything. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help ensure that your rack is true. Now I'm gonna install the cable to the attachment. So I know for myself that I need to be the second link from the top. I have no weight on the stack, so it's easy to pull down. And now we're ready to squat. Weight's optional. So that's the installation in use. Like I said, weight is optional.